Hello, this is my group. I'm Sarah, uh, Huda, Mona, and we are from Egypt. Uh, our project, which is Vacuum Evaporator for Water Purification, is about solving one of the most important challenges that faces the water techniques, the water purification techniques worldwide, which is the energy consumption. Uh, so our goal is to uh, is to introduce a new improved method for the distillation techniques that that reduces the energy consumption in the, the conventional distillation techniques uh, by the same efficiency, not more. Uh, but how? Mona will, uh, Mona will continue. Uh, actually, there are two factors that affect that affect uh, the boiling point of water. The first one is temperature, and the second one is pressure. In any conventional distillation system, they mainly control temperature in order to boil water. So we decided to play on the other factor, which is pressure, in order to uh, in order to control the boiling point of water. Regardless to the theory that, uh, that said that any liquid boils when it's saturated vapor pressure, the equal external surrounding temperature, and then a liquid starts to boil. And in a conventional distillation system, they uh, they raise, uh, they depend on heat energy to raise the saturated vapor pressure until it equals uh, external surrounding depression, and thus consume a huge amount of energy. But in our system, we exactly do the opposite. We lower the external surrounding depression until it equals the, uh, the, uh, the we lower the we lower the external surrounding depression until it equals the uh, surrounding depression uh, 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 surrounding depression, and then the water starts to boil, and thus consume uh, and thus reduce the amount of energy consumed in any conventional distillation system by about uh, by about uh, uh, 24 uh, 20, um, 24 point uh, 34 percent uh, 24 percent, and what uh, else? Uh, now I'm gonna talk about the design requirement, very very attempts and the testing thing. First of all, uh, our prototype should be functional, should work efficient, take the contaminated water and produce distilled water. Second thing and the most important thing that it must or it should consume lower energy than any thermal or any regular distillation technique. So the very attempts for our project is the first attempt that that it was uh, that it was made of acrylic or plexiglass, but it it failed because the building material of this uh, of this uh, of the acrylic wasn't efficient, so it was going to make an explosion. So it failed. And the second uh, the second attempt was made of uh, stainless steel, but it failed, but it also failed because the uh, because the the vapor didn't con because the vapor didn't condense due to the absence of high pressure. Air. Okay, and we continue uh, and not and we didn't give up uh, until we reached this design. <laughs> this design, this uh, this design consists of three chambers. Three chambers. And the first one is contaminated water chamber. The second one is vacuum chamber, and the last one is distilled water chamber to store the distilled water inside. And uh, our testing plan. First of all, we enter the contaminated water to this chamber and we close this this valve. And so, uh, then we evacuated the, this uh, chamber to uh, 220 kVA. May I have your attention, please? And it's we close the contaminated water to the exhibit hall. The, uh, is now closed. the low pressure finalists, adults, press. Please make your way towards the exit as soon as possible. Again, After the that, hall we is now the closed. Water to the Please make your way to the exit as then soon as start, possible. Then it will start to boil and collect the paper inside this chamber. Then we will collect the <laughs> then we will condense the the paper inside the and <laughs> then we we will condense the uh, this, this we will condense the uh, uh, the paper size the chamber uh, and we collect the distant water and we know where to go there. Uh, water uh, successfully came out from the uh, water successfully came out from the uh, from the outer chamber and um, two samples before and after the and after the process uh, sent to the laboratory to uh, make sure that our uh, that our uh, system uh, succeed uh, and this uh, this all our result um, 2000, uh, 2000 so the uh, the uh, 24 uh, milligram beer per liter and uh, also it's uh, decreased uh, into uh, 2.45 uh, times uh, 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 uh
Sara will talk about our conclusion. In conclusion, our prototype could uh, distill uh, could distill uh, 100 milli 100 milliliter of the of the contaminated water in only six minutes. And this is uh, and this is a table that shows the comparison between the standards of the international uh, distilled water. And uh, our results in this uh, this table shows that uh, it matches uh, the international standards. Uh, and as we said before, that uh, our project can, uh, as, uh, our project reduces the energy consumption in the distillation techniques uh, by the same efficiency.